Hello Trafton Tigers and welcome to art. Today we are going to talk about dots. Now I'd like to introduce to you an artist named George Surratt. You may have seen this picture before, it's very famous. It is made entirely of dots. That's right, every single little paint stroke is a dot. And all those dots with all those different colors, when you take a step back, make a beautiful painting of a day in the park. Here's a close-up of one of the figures in that painting. And as you can see, as I bring it closer to you, you can see it's made entirely of dots. And when you bring it back, it looks just like a regular painting. This is called pointillism. And today we're going to do our own pointillism. I want to show you one more painting. This is a painting by Paul Signac. He's French and he too made this painting entirely of dots. This painting is in our Museum of Fine Arts in Houston. So next time you go to our museum, take a look at this tree. It is so beautiful. It actually glows when you see it in person. All right, today we're going to read a story by Peter H. Reynolds. It's called The Dot. You may have read this before. This is one of my favorite books. I just love it. It teaches you that anybody can be an artist. All you have to do is start out by making a dot. So get your markers or your crayons ready, get a piece of paper, and we are gonna make our own dots today. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher learned, leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. That's exactly what we have. Everything is all white. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker, gave the paper a good, strong jab, just like this. Let's try it. There. <laughs> the teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. When we get together, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do this a lot. Put your, put your name on your artwork, but I wanna see your artist signature. Here's mine, it's nice and fancy. Can't even read it. That's my artist signature. Now it's a work of art. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. You guys can do that. If you can't sign your name yet, just, just draw the first initial of your name. Mine begins with a C. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in gold. Look, all of a sudden, it's a masterpiece. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set out to work. Foshti painted and painted and painted a red dot. Do you guys have red at home? I don't, I'm gonna use orange. <laughs> a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. I'm gonna use green because I can't, I don't have any of those colors the blue mixed with yellow, and she discovered that she could make green. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in lots of many colors. Let's try that, just lots of little dots, like our painting today. All those little dots that made up one big beautiful painting. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Oh, wow, look at that, let's see if we can do that. So what she did was she made dots in a circle, more dots around that circle, and the dot is the space inside.
At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. You know what? I can't draw a straight line without a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Let's see. It was probably something like this. I'm so scared. Look at that wiggly squiggly line. Vashti sh stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, please sign it. I think I will. Here's my C. When you sign your name, you're making your own original creation. Nobody else can make this except for you. Just like nobody can make this except for me. I'd love to see your dots. Get an adult in your house to take a picture of your favorite dot, your best dot. And I want you to email it or text it to me. My information is in the school directory. And I want to post it. I want to post your best dot. So send them on to me. I can't wait to see them. And until next time, Tigers, stay creative. Bye.